Simone here in New York City and we are thrilled to be here at the Women's Media Center Annual Awards. Anne Hathaway is going to be the MC, and we're going to hear about a lot of different women who are going to be honored tonight for all their work uh, around the world trying to empower women and uh, to get the word out about how important it is for women to be profiled and their voices to be heard more in the media. I've been waiting, watching and waiting and seeing progress made and then all of a sudden it just seems like we're sort of backpedaling. The tide is turning. You have to remember that the suffrage struggle took a hundred years, and we're only 50 years into this current struggle. So, um, I mean, and it's, it's, the, it's the biggest, deepest change of all, bigger than any other that is required, because it's in the home, it's in intimate areas, as well as public areas, um, and also we're not a minority. We're 52% of the population and the majority of the human species. So, it, for something that big, it's like trying to turn, excuse me, trying to turn a battleship, you can't just, it doesn't go boom, you have to roll. But it is happening. But the good news is 20 women in the Senate. The good news is the first Asian American, the first lesbian, the first, um, uh, New Hampshire has an entire female leadership team. Uh, so things are changing. Um, it's just not fast enough, you know, for me. And for the everyday woman who's out there working and not able to get make the same salary as a male counterpart, it's just really frustrating. Of course it's frustrating, but everyday women women, unquote, unquote, have to, have to begin to band together and fight in a way that was more common in the 70s and 80s, because if they, if they lodge, <coughs> excuse me, class action lawsuits, if they make, if they make noise, it's, if, you know, it's the squeaky wheel, um, things happen, and we're coming out of a period where everything was tamped down. I think now there's an outrageousness beginning to happen. Aside from women in the media, what advice would you give to women in general to just try and, and get past the well, stumbling blocks? One of the things that we created was the Progressive Women's Voices Media Leadership Training Program. And we think that that is the model for women succeeding in whatever field they are because inevitably you will need media, you will need visibility, you will need social media, all of that. And so what you have to do is groom yourself to be confident, uh, to develop your contacts, to develop, uh, as Leslie would say, Leslie Grosswood would say, your entourage so that you have a support system. So I think that we really haven't done enough of that. Too many women feel that they're just out there on their own without any backup. So I think the more we uh, uh, convene our resources and our strength and support each other, I think that's the way of the future. And always say yes. You know, one of the first things we learned when we uh, started uh, SheSource, which is a uh, the largest database of women experts, is that we had women, we'd call them, and they'd say, no, I'm not an expert or that, or no, I can't come today, which, you know, just reinforces the image the women are not eager, are not confident, are not ready to step up. So I think that we really have to put ourselves in a confident enough position that we can step up. Uh, there are lots of obstacles in our way. I wouldn't say it's all our fault, but I think that we have to do our part to be prepared and to step forward when that opportunity comes. I do think that women can tend to hold themselves back and, and, and can tend to be afraid to go for it and take risks. I mean, women, I think in many ways, have have so much more at stake when, when women have kids and the sacrifices they've made. But I think that we're starting to see this incredible change that's happening. We're seeing more and more women taking risks and those women are really becoming role models and hopefully they'll inspire legions more women to go out of their comfort zone and take that risk. You know, it's great learning about Women Centric. We are being honored for this Sisterhood is Powerful Award. You know, women may feel like they can't do it or feel like they're being held back, but if we hold each other up, if we look at each other as sisters and a support network for each other, we will give each other more strength and power and all rise as a collective.